this short video considers the COVID-19 crisis and its linkage to military medical ethics. I'm Professor Martin Bricknell, Professor of Conflict, Health and Military Medicine at King's College London. So what I'd like to do in this video is consider the application of subjects in military medical ethics to the COVID-19 crisis. We'll very quickly review military medical ethics and the duality of profession between military and medicine. And then we'll consider the similar scenarios that have occurred during the COVID-19 crisis and consider how they might be similar to those that appear in war and conflict. So in a previous video, you will have discussed the principles of medical ethics, those being autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence and justice and how these apply to healthcare professionals, even if they're working inside the armed forces. We've also considered the practice of military duty in both um, society, in war and in garrison, and considered the relationship between international humanitarian law, law of armed conflict, and the conduct and behavior of members of the armed forces during conflict. And the fusion of the two is the so-called dual loyalty of military medical ethics, that both of a healthcare professional and that of a military professional. So uh, it's summarized most effectively in this document, Ethical Principles of Healthcare in Times of Armed Co Conflict and Other Emergencies. And this sets the framework for ethical practice by healthcare professionals. And many of these principles also apply in an emergency situation and apply therefore in the COVID-19 crisis. So many people considered at the beginning of the crisis that uh, it was very similar to a war. And like a war, you uh, have a threat to the fabric of society from this pandemic the mobilization of the whole of society, including a whole of government response. And in terms of how health services responded, there's a considerable mobilization of resources, a centralization of command and control, a prioritization of services towards meeting the needs of COVID patients with common protocols and pathways of care. Many of these are the way in which we organize military medical services in wartime. However, there are some fundamental differences between war and the nature of the COVID crisis. And during the course of the spring, there was considerable disquiet over the linkage of the metaphor of war and COVID. And you just need to do a Google search, uh, as I've done with the search during war, metaphor and COVID to find a significant number of um, well argued uh, articles and reports that suggested the risks of making this analogy too strong. So let's think about some of the challenges that occurred uh, during the early phase of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, and of course, some of these persist. Uh, first one is clinical autonomy versus organizational direction, where of course, in the military, we have clinical guidelines for operations and other ways in which the organization directs the clinical practice of clinicians in a pathway of care. We have very clear approaches to triage, uh, including the prioritization of care for um, patients according to sickness, but also in an emergency situation where the medical system is likely to be overwhelmed, we balance off what is clinically best for individuals versus what is best in terms of resource allocation for populations. We consider very carefully the issue of consent in the armed forces particularly for vulnerable populations like military personnel who are subject to orders. And of course, that's come out during the course of the COVID crisis, particularly when um, the patient's representatives may have difficulty in being present for um, discussions about care of their relatives. The COVID crisis has emphasized the importance of whole system oversight and therefore emphasize the ethical duties of managers and leaders of the health system, as well as the individual responsibility of clinicians. In addition to clinical practice, 
there have been issues that have extended into the wider uh, healthcare community. Uh, firstly, including the issue of the management of risks to the health of healthcare workers, particularly uh, in order to protect the vulnerable. We've had to change work patterns, skills and roles across the entire health workforce, uh, including um, during the periods of, of most peak activity, possibly changing shift patterns and increasing individual personal responsibilities across patients. We've had to consider very carefully the ethics of research and innovation during the crisis, including getting the balance right between uh, early adoption of treatments that may work versus ensuring that we conduct the appropriate research to make sure that hypotheses are properly tested before bringing new ideas into practice. And finally, there have been um, adverse impacts of this experience on the mental and social health, both of patients and also our workforce. And many of these topics are almost exactly the same as those we face in military medicine. So how has that then uh, emerged in terms of uh, guidance and direction? Well, pretty much every country has had to reflect on their uh, approach to medical ethics during this crisis. And this slide shows um, collations of those um, sources of information from a global perspective on the World Health Organization's website and from a European perspective on the Council of Europe website and these provide collated sources of reference for ethical guidance provided by different nations and professional organizations in response to this crisis. So in summary this short presentation considers the application of the subjects of military medical ethics to the COVID-19 crisis and I've touched upon the duality of profession that we're used to discussing in military healthcare. However, the COVID-19 crisis has generated similar scenarios to that of the military context. And whilst we haven't had time to explore these in detail, there are many principles that extrapolate from the military context of crisis into the COVID-19 crisis. And this is a very valuable topic for small group discussion. And in closing, I would like to highlight to you a resource that might be available, that is available, and you might wish to use for um, small group discussions uh, within your units. It's the uh, military medical playing cards that are hosted on our website at the Centre for Military Ethics. And we have also developed some uh, physical playing cards to facilitate small group teaching. And we are also launching a um, mobile phone app that contains the same material. And in association with the scenarios, we've also developed some guided learning associated with interpreting those scenarios for the military context. And many of these scenarios are directly uh, link, linked to uh, infectious disease crises such as the COVID-19 crisis. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, I'd welcome any further contacts on the discussion of uh, ethics in military medical practice.